Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, share. Everything you do does help the channel. And if you want to help out more, you can head over to my Patreon and try to get yourself a mug or a sticker. Link will be in the description. Alright, in this video we're going to go over the top 5 rare Zippos in the world, the hardest to come by, and the prices for them, what they look like, and a little bit about everyone. So here's number 5. Alright, it's no surprise that number 5 is the Black Crackle, World War II Zippo, iconic Zippo, put Zippo on the map, very well sought after. Uh, this Zippo is probably going to run you around anywhere between $50 to $200, it really depends on condition. Uh, brand new mint in box, hunched truck, yeah, I've seen them go for $1,000 and people will gladly pay it to have one that good because chances are you're going to buy one of these in the crackle is going to be worn off you're going to see it like this here uh it, it's worn off pretty good that's how most of them are they got heavy use uh, didn't stay on well uh these are well sought after too because they're a steel case insert uh one of the very few zippo makes and uh they were very handy during the war uh they didn't give away sniper positions because they weren't reflective uh, that was just a benefit from it that wasn't a main purpose uh the main reason was they needed brass chrome and nickel for the war effort so uh, they had to use this porous metal steel that they had made up, and uh, this is what we got from it. But very iconic Zippo. Everybody does love this Zippo. And you can see here just how, if it wears off, what the pitting looks like, rust and things like that. Uh, very nice Zippo, very well sought after. Uh, one I hope to have one day in my collection when I find it for a reasonable price, and one everybody should be looking for. So this one fits in perfect at number five for this reason just because it's one that we could still all obtain it's not too expensive it's not too crazy if you're not uh, worried about condition or what it's going to look like when you get it number four is a very talked about zippo in the comments on this channel and it is the iconic red crackle now just like the black crackle this is also a world war ii zippo but this one's a little more rare and a little more harder to come by just because there was less made uh, these were preferably used by the military that worked in the tanks because it was dark in there and it was easier for them to find it where the black crackle uh, obviously you couldn't see it in there so uh, they preferred to use this one and it was pretty popular by them and it was made popular by them also uh, and it would be a cool commemorative zippo for zippo to come back and do one day uh, we're still waiting on that and it's hard to even find pictures on these and uh, they're pretty rare and I've never even seen one for sale for brand new to give you an idea of how much they're worth. Uh, but I'm assuming that they're going to run you up anywhere between, you know, a hundred to three, four, five hundred dollars, all depending on condition, obviously. Uh, but I have seen one did uh, first sale very bad condition for 120 American dollars. I also seen a bunch of people online just get a 41 replica and give it their own coating of red crackle. Uh, I thought this would be something fun to try. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. Now number three, we're coming to the rare of the rare. This is what everybody's been waiting for. These are the Zippos we're not going to afford in our collection. All right, uh, this Zippo is the 33 to 35. Uh, this one particular actually is a late 33. Um... Zippos are extremely rare. There's very few made. Uh, Zippo was in the growing process, a new company at the time. Uh, these are just hard to find. You don't see them for sale often on eBay or anything like that. They are all in very big private collections. Uh, people who have some of the rare Zippos out there, they just they barely ever come up for sale and are barely ever found. Uh, it's even hard to find a lot of pictures on them. They are out there though. Uh, you can search them. And uh, something like this in bad condition, probably going to run you between $500 to $1,500. And in good condition, these Zippos can go for $1,000 to $3,000. I know it's hard to believe, but it is, it is absolutely true. That is how rare these are and uh, how high regards they are held to collectors. Uh, this one here, you're going to notice, uh, just like the 35 replicas and everything like that, that's what these basically are. Uh, they're going to have the slashes, you're going to have the three barrel hinge. Uh, the originals actually have a brass insert that is chromed, uh, horizontal lines on the flint wheel, closed chimney. Uh, you're going to see some insert uh, coming up here soon in the video. And the bottom stamp is uh, patent pending on this one. So that, that tells me that this one is uh, probably a 33 or a 34. 
This one is being advertised as a brass, but I highly doubt that judging by the chrome still on around the hinge and the chrome still inside the slashes. But this is definitely a 33 because you could tell right away on this cam, it looks like a gun hammer. Uh, they use that right at the very beginning of Zippo on the early Zippos. And you can see right there, it does say patent pending. And it has the insert to match an early 33. So uh, just when you're looking at these things, just make sure you're looking for the details. The Zippo also has a four barrel hinge, so the Zippo had to have been sent in for repair sometime after 1936. And where I got this picture from, it did say that this was a repaired Zippo of an original 33. So I just wanted to make that clear in the video. And now number two brings in an extremely rare Zippo. It is known as the 33 Tall. Right away from the picture, you're going to see why it gets its name because it is exactly a quarter inch taller than a regular Zippo put out the same year. Uh, you can see the regular 33 sitting beside it. Now, this Zippo was conceived in late 32 and sold and made in early 33. Very, very limited, very few sold, mostly just a concept, a proof of concept, prototype, uh, this and that. You can see things were changed. Uh, and this is also going to be one of those ones that have that gun hammer cam. You can't see it right now because of the angle of this photo, but I didn't have a side photo of the two inserts side by side. Uh, and you will see here that the insert is taller than a regular Zippo insert of that same year that came out in later 33. Uh, this Zippo is going to cost you guys. This is going to run you up. This is considered extremely rare. Uh, it, this Zippo is going to cost you anywhere between one two thousand dollars i've even seen it go as high as three uh this zippo just does not come up for sale very often and i can assure you this is a very expensive zippo to obtain we've worked our way down to number one and after number one is an honorable mention from my private collection so if you could stick around uh, for that one please do and here's number one and number one is the gun metal zippo uh it is a 1933 tall three barrel hinge uh it is just beautiful i love the look of this zippo uh I'm so glad it's number one this thing is a bronze alloy made out of copper tin and zinc uh, that's why you're seeing the color you're seeing right now it is modeled just like the other 33 talls a uh, square body tall quarter inch taller than every other zippo this thing is is beautiful it's just it's aged well uh i love the look of it i would love to have one of these in my collection uh, com this is only a prototype you can see on the bottom stamp here that it says patent pending also so uh collectors consider this actually a 32. you'll hear this be called a 32 a lot uh and this thing is completely rare they weren't even sold to the public this is like a prototype and they made so many and it's not even sure how many were actually even made i've never seen one of these for sale i couldn't find any record of one of these even selling uh these have sold privately though but this is before computers and things like that so I, there's no receipt or anything to show but this will also have the gun hammer cam i really love that that is a really cool feature I, I just think that's cool i wish it'd bring back but i'm sure it doesn't work well that's probably why they got rid of it so early they got rid of it the same year in 1933 as soon as they started using it they got rid of it so i'm assuming it doesn't work that great all in all the rarity of this zippo that's probably going to run you around three to five thousand dollars us and trust me when i say that that's a legitimate price that's probably what you're going to have to pay for this uh, this is the Zippo is almost a one of a kind. It, it completely rare. I know everybody's gonna go on eBay and try to find these Zippos for sale, and you're not. And you might actually find some thir early thirties here and there, but I've seen them go for thousands of dollars, uh, and they are selling for that. But you are gonna find a bunch of first edition replicas when they first redid the replicas for these Zippos, and they are going for like two to five hundred dollars it is true and if people are paying it some are selling uh they're just hard to come by there's not that many uh you can imagine what the originals are worth and now the rare zippo in my collection it is the coveted 51 steel case nickel silver insert korean war era zippo i've seen this zippo sell for 400 dollars american online in similar condition i don't think this is worth that i think buddy paid what he wanted to pay for it 
But this Zippo is a very important rare Zippo because the year after the 52 had a steel insert. And this is also a historically important Zippo because it's between World War II and the Vietnam War. So it was considered the Forgotten War and this might be considered the Forgotten Zippo. A very rare, love this Zippo. Please subscribe and check out more videos like this on my channel.